okay so now we will see how to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a 3 by 3 matrix so let me write the question find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a equal to 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 and 0 0 2 okay so let us see the solution now so here uh, you have to remember that if I want to calculate the characteristic polynomial when I calculate the characteristic polynomial for 3 by 3 matrix the actual formula is determinant of lambda i minus a and I have to equate it to 0 so this means uh, determinant of so let me first calculate what is lambda i minus a what is lambda i minus a lambda into identity now this identity is a 3 by 3 matrix because a is a 3 by 3 matrix so lambda into identity is lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 and 0 0 lambda and minus a matrix is 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 and 0 0 2 so this matrix becomes lambda minus 1 lambda plus 1 lambda minus 2 diagonal once you write carefully the other entries you just have to copy so this will become minus 2 this will become plus 1 this will become minus 3 and this is 0 0 0 so this is not a big issue so when i calculate the determinant of this so this is lambda i minus a okay and when i calculate the determinant of this matrix now what is the determinant of this particular matrix do you see that this matrix is actually what this matrix is here that lower triangle is zero so if the matrix has lower triangular zero means it is this matrix is upper triangular matrix okay means the lower triangular is what is zero the lower triangle is if the matrix is upper triangular or it is lower triangular right then what happens the determinant turns out to be what i mean to say mean it's like this something here something here something here some entries here and here you have zero zero this is the upper triangular matrix what is the lower triangular matrix is like this and suppose this is the case so here you have zeros and here you have zeros then in this case the determinant of such matrices okay turns out to be just the product of the diagonal elements so this is a into b into c okay so these three people will multiply and you will get the so this is a this is b this is c okay so here this matrix is the upper triangular so the determinant of this matrix will just become what product of the diagonal elements who are the diagonal people here the diagonal people are lambda minus 1 multiplied by lambda plus 1 multiplied by lambda minus 2 and I will, if I equate it to 0 that becomes my characteristic equation which is lambda minus 1 into lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so this happens because my matrix was a very special matrix lambda i minus a was upper triangular suppose it is neither upper triangular nor lower triangular then in that case you have to actually solve this determinant and then you have to get a cubic equation and you solve that cubic equation and when you solve that cubic equation you will get the three roots so here clearly lambda equal to 1 lambda equal to minus 1 and lambda equal to 2 are the roots of this equation so i will call them i will call them 1 2 and 3 so lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 so these are the three eigen values okay so so this becomes uh, and hence forward calculating the method for eigenvector calculating the eigenvectors for these eigenvalues you have to follow the same process as you have followed in the 2 by 2 matrix things okay 
so let me calculate the eigen vector for lambda 1 so lambda 1 is first eigen value is 1 okay and we will calculate the first eigen vector now what is a minus lambda 1 i lambda 1 is 1 so this is a minus i which is equal to i'm subtracting 1 1 1 now from a okay one identity is 1 1 1 okay so matrix what is the matrix the matrix is zero um, the matrix is one two minus one right one two minus one zero minus one three and zero zero two this is the given matrix and i will subtract the identity matrix from it and subtract the identity matrix from it i will get if i add so i want to make this minus to zero so if i take r2 plus r1 okay and i replace that in r2 what will this become this will become 0 2 minus 1 and i'm adding r2 with r1 so i'm getting 0 0 2 and i'm getting a 0 0 1 okay this is fine so 2 i will get 0 2 minus 1 and 0 0 1 0 0 1 so when i make r3 minus r2 so that last row will directly become zero so i'm getting zero two minus one zero zero one and zero 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 okay now here i have to identify what are the leading variables and the free variables when you hit an arrow over here it will hit the second position this means y is leading when you hit the arrow in the next line it hits the third position means z is leading who is remaining so x is remaining so this means x will become a free variable and i will put x equal to t the equation that i get from the first let me write the equation so equation from the first row will be 2x 2y minus z is equal to 0 and equation from the second row will become 0x plus 0y plus 1z is equal to 0 okay but i will ignore this so this directly means that x is t z is how much zero and therefore when i put this z equal to zero in that equation i will get 2y minus zero is zero so this means y also becomes equal to zero and therefore the vector x y z that i'm going to get is t zero zero which is t into one zero zero so the vector v1 bar will turn out to be one zero zero corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda one is equal to one okay let us go to the second eigenvalue the second eigenvalue is minus one okay now let us see what is the eigenvector for minus one so when you consider a minus lambda 2i which is a minus minus and minus into plus which is a plus identity which will become a is what a is 1 2 minus 1 na? a is 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 and 0 0 2 plus identity matrix is 1 1 1 on the diagonal elsewhere 0 so when i add this i will get 2 2 minus 1 0 0 and 3 and 0 0 3 again okay remember it when you're calculating eigen vector and when you're reducing it to the equivalent form at least one row must become zero okay so if you see that all the three rows are becoming uh, are not reducing to zero it means your eigen value is not correct okay so here you see that r3 minus r2 will immediately give you the third row will become zero okay even two rows can become zero okay but all three rows after the uh, after reducing to the equivalent form if they are not becoming zero then means your eigenvalue is wrong so two two minus one zero zero one i will divide the second row by three also and three minus three will become zero okay so now yes so this means that here x is leading y is here 
z is leading and therefore who remains the remaining person becomes free so y is free so i will put y equal to t so therefore what is the equation that i'm getting from the first line the equation i'm getting from the first line is i'm getting two equations first equation is 2x plus 2y minus z is equal to 0 and the second equation is 0x plus 0y plus z is equal to 0 means directly i'm getting z is equal to 0 so i got the value of z i have the value of y so when i substitute i will get 2x plus 2t minus 0 is 0 so this means x is equal to minus t becomes the value of x and therefore my vector x y z will become minus t y is how much y is t and z is zero when i pull out a t i will get minus one one zero this so the eigen vector for the second eigen value is minus one one zero corresponding to the eigen value minus one for the third eigenvector v3 bar you want to calculate what is the third eigenvalue the third eigenvalue was i think it was 2 correct so when you have a minus lambda 3i which is a minus 2i so this will become a is how much 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 0 0 2 minus 2 2 2 on the diagonal and then subtract them i will get minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 3 3 0 0 0 okay only already the last row is 0 very good so r2 divided by 3 will make it more simple to look so it will become minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 and 0 0 0 and therefore x is leading variable here when i hit the arrow y is leading variable and therefore z becomes free so i can put z equal to t so the two equations that i get from the first and the second row are minus x plus 2y minus z equal to 0 and second row will give me minus y plus z is equal to 0 so i'll put z equal to t so i'll get y is equal to t directly from the second equation because z is equal to t i already got z i already got y i substitute this in first equation so i'll get minus x plus 2 t minus z is also t so this minus x plus t is 0 means x is equal to t so i got all the three values of x y z so my x y z have turned up to be t t and t and therefore t is out i'll get one 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 and therefore my third eigenvector v3 bar turns out to be one 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 corresponding to the eigenvalue two so this means that when i write for the second eigenvector lambda 2 was minus 1 and first eigenvalue was 1 what was the eigenvector let me just write down here so the second eigenvector was minus 1 1 0 and i think the first uh, eigenvector was uh, 1 0 0 okay so these are the three eigenvalues and three eigenvector it is a lengthy computation okay so find eigenvalues of matrix a equal to 1 0 minus 1 1 2 1 2 2 3 okay now when i go for finding eigenvalues i will say consider what is lambda i minus a and we know that when i write lambda i minus a that lambda minus will come in the diagonal and all the entries will change their sign so this will become lambda minus one this will become lambda minus two this will become lambda minus three 
and all other entries will be have the signs change. This will become plus one, this will become minus one, this will become minus one, this will become minus two and minus two. Okay, and then I have to calculate the determinant of this particular matrix lambda i minus a and that determinant will be equated to zero which is called as the characteristic equation now this determinant when you expand will become a big expression okay and that will be a cubic polynomial in lambda okay is a cubic polynomial in lambda okay so now how can i use some short method to find that cubic polynomial so you remember if you were trying for the matrix two by two matrix a b c d you got the characteristic polynomial to be lambda square minus trace and then you had a determinant of the matrix okay so something similar will also be is also expected when you are trying for a cubic matrix now here observe that since it was a quadratic polynomial this first term coefficient was with a plus sign this was with a negative sign and the third term what was, was with a positive mm -hmm. sign so when i'm writing so when, when i'm writing a shortcut formula for a three by three matrix okay i expect that the c lambda should be something like lambda cube minus again uh, alternating plus and minus sign is expected minus something times lambda square plus something times lambda minus some constant is equal to zero so alternating plus and minus signs are going to come okay now who are the terms that are going to come in the picture okay as expected this particular coefficient of lambda square will again come up to be the trace of the matrix okay and uh, the last person the last person which is having a negative sign that also comes up to be the same person which is the determinant of the matrix the only person which is controversial is the coefficient of lambda okay which is i will write here it is called as sum of diagonal minors diagonal minus okay so let us use this formula and try to find the characteristic polynomial of this particular matrix okay now let me write lambda q minus what is the trace of this matrix lambda square coefficient the trace is one two three it's addition the addition six right then if you carefully calculate the determinant of this particular matrix okay in in your rough work you'll understand that the determinant also turns out to be six so this means that the coefficient of lambda is still waiting and minus the determinant came up to be how much six and that is equal to zero so only i am supposed to teach you how will i calculate this now how do i calculate the sum of diagonal minus let me teach you so omit the first row and first column when you omit the first row and first column you will see a two by two matrix that two by two matrix is two one two three what is the determinant of this matrix two one two three two one two three determinant is how much it is six minus two which is four okay keep the four aside then delete the second row and the second column diagonal entries i'm removing okay delete, delete the second row and second column what is the two by two matrix i'm going to get one minus one two three what is the determinant of this matrix it is three minus and minus plus as two which is five so i'm keeping this five also aside okay four and five are aside next i will delete the third row and the third column okay so i'm going to get a matrix which is one zero one two what is the determinant of this particular matrix the determinant is two 
to write that two here. So I got first diagonal minor was four, second diagonal minor is five, and third diagonal minor is two. And their sum, what is the sum? Their sum is 11. So that will come to be here. So I got the characteristic polynomial equation is how much? Lambda Q minus six lambda square plus 11 lambda minus six equal to zero. If you quickly look, you'll observe that, sorry, this is lambda Q. If we look here, you'll see one minus six plus 11 minus six. This becomes zero. The sum of the coefficients is becoming zero. This means lambda equal to one is root of this cubic equation of the characteristic equation C lambda. So lambda equal to one becomes your root. Once I know one root, I can find the other roots by using my synthetic division method. Okay. So the swing one is carried on down. So one into one minus five, minus five into one is minus five, 11 minus five is six, and this is minus six. This becomes zero. So the quadratic equation that I'm going to get is lambda squared minus five lambda plus six is equal to zero. This is lambda minus two into lambda minus three is equal to zero, and therefore you get lambda is equal to two and three. And initially lambda was one also. So I got my three eigenvalues of matrix A. Okay. Okay. Now let us find the eigenvector corresponding to the first eigenvalue, lambda one. So that is even bar we want to find. So I will consider what is A minus lambda one i, which is A minus i because lambda one is equal to one the matrix a is one zero minus one one two one and two two three minus identity matrix is one this will give me zero zero minus one then i will have one to one then i'll have two 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 so this gives me, if I divide the third row by two, what will I get? I will get zero, zero minus one, 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 and a one, one, one. When I take R3 minus R2, and replace that in R3, so it will become equivalent to zero, zero minus one, 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 and zero, zero zero so this means that if i look here this means that z is a leading variable x is also leading variable and therefore y becomes a free variable and therefore i can put y equal to d so this means the first equal or the two equations that i get from the first two rows is the first row is giving me 0x plus 0y minus z is equal to 0, which equivalently means that z is 0. And second equation is x plus y plus z is equal to 0, out of which z is 0 and y is t. So this means that x is equal to minus t. So I got the values of x, y, and z. So the vector x, y, z will now become minus t, t n, 0, where t is real number. If I can write it as minus 1, 1, 0. So v1 bar can be chosen to be minus 1, 1, 0. Okay. Now, once I get v1 bar, what is the eigenvalue? Eigenvalue is lambda 1 equal to 1. Okay, now after doing this row reduction and doing this computation, how will you check whether your eigenvector is correct or not? Okay, how will you check whether it is correct or not? What is the definition of eigenvalue and eigenvector? A times V bar must be equal to lambda times V bar. So here we are talking about the vector is V1 bar 
And what is the eigenvalue? Eigenvalue is lambda one. So we have to really check whether a times v one bar is it equal to v one bar because lambda one is how much? Lambda one is one. Okay, if I get this is correct, then my eigenvector is correct. So what is a? A is matrix one zero minus one, one two one, two two three. And multiply it with what? Multiply it with v1 bar. What is v1 bar? Minus 1, 1, 0. This is your vector v1 bar. Now simplify this. This will not take a, this will, this will be very easy. This will be minus 1 plus 0 plus 0. Okay. This multiplied by this. The second line will be 1 to 1 will multiply it by minus one one zero so we get minus one plus two plus one plus sorry plus zero last line is two two three multiplied by minus one one zero two into minus one is minus two two into one is plus two and three into zero is zero so what are you getting this this simplifies to how much minus one one and zero which is equal to what which is equal to v1 bar so yes so a times v1 bar is coming to be one times v1 bar so this means the diagonal vector we have calculated is 100 percent correct that is to vote for the second diagonal vector so we want to calculate v2 bar so what is the eigen value the eigen value is 2 so i will consider lambda i minus a which is lambda 2 is 2i minus a which is two times identity is two zero 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 two zero 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 two minus matrix a is one zero minus one one two one two two three okay you can take lambda i minus a or you can take a minus lambda a. no harm in doing that okay there's only sign the difference of a negative sign not a big deal Okay, so 2 minus 1 is 1, and this is 0, this is 1, then here you have minus 1, 0, and again a minus 1, minus 2, and a minus 1. Okay, so I can simply do what? I can simply take R2 plus R1, and I can put this change in R2 so that this entire row becomes 0. Let me take the negative of R3 so that all the minus signs will go. So what will I get? I will get 101, 0, 0, 0. This will be 2, 2, 1. Okay. So now what will I do? Now I will try to make this to 0. Okay. How will I make this to 0? So let me do R3 minus 2 R1 which will become 101000 this will become 0 this will become 2 and this will become minus 1 okay let us shift the green arrows to the bottom line so that it will look in the equivalent form 101002 minus 1 and 000 zero, zero. shifted the rows so this means that x is leading this means y is leading and therefore z becomes free and therefore i can put z equal to t where t is a real number so the equations that i get from the first two lines are x plus z equal to zero and 2y minus z equal to zero but z is t so this means x is minus t and y is equal to z by 2 which is t by 2 so y is t by 2 therefore i want all the values x y z and therefore the vector x y z will start looking like minus t t by 2 and a t you pull out the common part half and a t outside what will I get? I get minus 2. I will multiply it so that 
this will become t by 2 into 2 will become 1 and this will become 1 so minus 2 1 2 so the eigen vector that we will choose will be minus 2 1 2 corresponding to the eigen value 2 is this eigen vector correct let us again check so a times v2 bar must be equal to this is my rough work lambda 2 into v2 bar okay so what is a the matrix a is uh, there is a matrix the matrix a is 1 0 minus 1 then it's 1 2 1 and 2 2 3 and multiplied by v2 bar v2 bar is minus 2 1 2 and this is equal to how much let me calculate this so this is a 3 by 3 matrix this is a 3 by 1 matrix and therefore the output must be also a 3 by 1 matrix so let me multiply these entries sorry let me multiply these entries 1 0 minus 1 multiplied by minus 2 1 2 so it will be minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 correct and next row 1 2 1 multiplied by 2 1 2 again so it will be minus 2 plus 2 into 1 is 2 plus 2 and last one is 2 2 3 into minus 2 1 2 which is minus 4 plus 2 plus 6 what is this equal to this is equal to minus 4 this is equal to 2 okay and this is also equal to 4 which is actually if I take out 2 common why I'm taking out a 2 common because I know that it should look like what a v2 bar must be equal to 2 times v2 bar okay so I will take a 2 common so if I take a 2 common I will get minus 2 1 2 which is nothing but 2 times the eigenvector v2 bar so yes so a v2 bar is coming exactly as 2 times v2 bar this means this eigenvector is also correct okay in similar fashion you can now calculate the eigenvector corresponding to the third eigenvalue third eigenvalue is lambda 3 equal to 3 okay so v3 bar is corresponding to the third eigenvalue lambda 3 equal to 3 and that i will leave it to you now it should come out to be minus 1 1 and 2 so the three eigenvectors are obtained and now what do we observe here so we observe from above examples is that first one is that if lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are distinct eigenvalues means they're all three different eigenvalues okay then what is observed then v1 bar v2 bar and v3 bar are also distinct okay not only distinct but you should notice that they are linearly independent so what is the result i'm trying to tell you that if eigenvalues are distinct then the corresponding eigenvectors are linearly independent okay so now in the sec in the next example what we will be doing is we will take the matrix a which is a 3 by 3 matrix and we will take repeated eigenvalues okay and then when you have repeated eigenvalues there are our we, we suppose that if i get eigenvalues like 1 1 and 3 so this one will give you one eigenvector and this three will give you another eigenvector so eigenvalues are three but eigenvectors how much two but in some problems it also turns out that even though the eigenvalues are repeated okay you have three eigenvalues okay you may get three different eigen vectors means from the first eigenvalue itself you may get two uh, eigenvectors at the same time 
and third eigen vector will give you third eigen value will give you the third eigen so these are the two cases which also may occur that even though the eigen values are repeated you may get only two eigen vectors or you or in some cases you also may get three linearly independent eigen vectors so in this example now let us see uh, as i told you in the above that you may have repeated eigen values let us see what is the characteristic polynomial of this particular matrix lambda q minus trace of a which is addition of the diagonal elements lambda square plus sum of the diagonal minus and multiplied by lambda minus the determinant of the matrix is equal to zero so this means that c of lambda is equal to lambda cube minus what is the trace of the matrix 2 plus 1 plus 4 is 7 lambda square plus sum of the diagonal minus how do you take the sum of the diagonal minus so what is the thing that you have to do for diagonal minus cut the first row first column look at the matrix 1 minus 1 2 4 what is the what is the determinant of this matrix 4 plus 2 which is 6 plus next is cut the second row and the second column and look at the matrix 2 0 0 4 and what is the what is the determinant of this matrix it is 8 plus then cut the third row and the third column and uh, take the determinant of the remaining matrix which is 2 so this means you have 2 lambda minus determinant the determinant of this matrix comes out to be 12 okay please check it in your free time the determinant will come out to be 12 is equal to 0 so the characteristic polynomial will turn out to be lambda cube minus 7 lambda square plus 16 lambda minus 12 is equal to zero okay if you make a guess now you have to um, factorize this polynomial so if you make a guess you will understand that lambda equal to 2 is a root of this polynomial and then i will do synthetic division and i will find the other two roots as i have explained you above and you will get to it that the roots are lambda 1 equal to 2 the other two roots will come out to be 2 and 3 so in all we get three roots namely 2 2 and 3 okay so these are repeated roots okay now we will calculate what is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2 okay together because we have only one eigenvalue so we have to do that calculation only once correct so when i look for v1 bar this v1 bar is corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2 both are 2 okay so what will i get i will write lambda i minus uh, a is equal to what is what is lambda i minus a lambda i minus a is lambda 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 okay minus a the matrix a is let me just see what is the matrix a 2 1 0 right this 2 1 0 then 0 1 minus 1 and 0 2 4 and that will give me right 2 i minus a so this will be let me write it here itself so 2 i minus a is 2 2 2 on the diagonal equal to how much and we get 2 minus 2 is 0 minus 1 0 and then we get a 0 then 1 and again a plus 1 then we get 0 minus 2 and minus 2 this is what I'm getting okay because all the entries over here are 0 and then I see that R2 minus R1 can be done. This change I'm going to write in R2 and I'm going to simply divide R3 by minus 2. 
so that this becomes 0 minus 1 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 I'm sorry this will become 0 0 0 correct and then what at the most I can do is I can make this to be 0 one of the end I can make this 0 so when I have to R3 plus R1 I'm going to get uh, put this change in R3 so I'm going to get I'm going to get 0 let me put a minus sign off so multiplying the first row by what minus 1 this is 0 0 0 and this is 0 0 1 Putting it in the echelon form, taking all the zero rows in the bottom, I'll get 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 0. So this means that Y is leading, Z is leading, and X is free, so X is T, T belongs to R. Therefore, what are the equations that I get from the first and the second row? For the second, the first row tells me 0X plus 1, Y, plus z0 z is equal to 0 second row says me x0 x plus 0 y plus 1 z is equal to 0 which means that y is equal to 0 and z is also equal to 0 and x is equal to t so the eigen vector that i got from here is x y z is equal to is t 0 0 which is t times 1 0 0 and therefore the eigenvector that I got for the eigenvalue lambda equal to 2 lambda 1 and lambda 2 both are 2 I get only one eigenvector and that eigenvector is 1 0 0 okay and now I leave it to you to find the eigenvector correspond the second eigenvector will correspond to the eigenvalue lambda 3 equal to 3 and that eigenvector will come to be minus 1 minus 1 2 I will leave it to you so we have three eigenvalues repeated two eigenvalues were repeated and one was different but how many eigenvectors I got I got only two eigenvectors but it may happen that even if you get repeated eigenvalues we may get three different eigenvectors which are linearly independent okay okay now let us take this example and find the eigenvalues in eigenvectors and what does this problem fall into the category of that even if i get repeated eigenvalues i may get i'm going to get here three different linearly independent eigenvectors so how will you get three eigenvectors even though the eigenvalues are repeated okay so solution so now firstly i will directly tell you the eigenvalues i will leave it to you to find the characteristic polynomial factorize the matrix and uh, factorize the polynomial and get the eigenvalues of this particular matrix so they are 0 1 and 1 okay so as far as the first eigenvalue is considered lambda 1 equal to 0 the eigenvector computation will be as usual we have done in the above problems and that eigenvector also i'm going to tell you directly because we are basically looking this problem for the case of these repeated eigenvalues that comes up to be 2 minus 1 2 it's not a very difficult task let us see in this thing that how will you get two different eigenvectors even if you have only one eigenvalue so let me go for v2 corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda 2 equal to lambda 3 equal to 1 so i have to consider lambda i minus e say lambda 2 minus e lambda 2 is 1 so it is i minus e which is 1 1 1 minus matrix A is 1 minus 6 minus 4 0 4 2 and 0 minus 6 minus 3 
Okay. What does this become? This becomes zero six four zero minus three minus two, and this becomes zero six four. So it becomes quite simple if we just look at all of these. I will divide the first row by three. I will divide the second row by. I will divide the third row also by. 3 and if I divide the second row by minus 1 or if I multiply the second row by minus 1 this all the rows will become same 0 3 2 0 3 2 and 0 3 2 therefore I can do R2 minus R1 you can put this change in R2 then I will do R3 minus R1 put this change in R3 so I will get it 0 3 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 and now this means that y is a leading variable and there are no other very non-zero entries in the below rows this means that all remaining variables x is free and z is also free so you get two free variables so i will put x equal to t and i will put y equal to say z equal to say some s so t and s are real numbers so as soon as you get two free variables you will get a hint that you are going to get two eigenvectors okay and what are the equations that i'm getting from there's only one equation that i'm going to get from the first row which is 0x plus 3y plus 2z equal to 0 and this means that 3y plus 2s is equal to 0 and therefore y is equal to 2 by 3s correct and then what are the values of x y z that i got x is t z is s and y is minus 2 by 3s when i write this in vector form i'm going to get x y z is equal to x is t z is s and what is y equal to minus 2 by 3 s separate this out in this form t 1 t plus 0 s this is 0 t minus 2 by 3 s and this is 0 t plus 1 s so this can be written as t multiplied by something plus s multiplied by something. So what will I get the, for t? I see here it is 1, 0, 0. So this is what I get for t. Now here, when I'm looking for the s thing, I will instead of taking s common, if I take minus 2 by 3 s common, okay, or of the fractional part only common. Suppose I just take a minus 1 by 3 s part is common. So that means I will have a 2 over here. Here obviously there is no s. So this will be multiplying with 0. Okay. Here what will I get when I'm taking a minus 1 by 3 common from it means here I will have to inside I have to write a minus 3. So that this minus 3 and minus 1 by 3 will become 1. So I get two eigenvectors from here which is v2 bar is equal to 100 0, 0, and the third eigenvector that I've got is 0 2 minus 3 okay for which eigenvalue for the eigenvalue lambda 2 equal to lambda 3 equal to 1 so though the eigenvalues were repeated we got three distinct eigenvectors v1 bar v2 bar and v3 bar okay